Here we have a variable pressure controller. So wherever, whenever you want to use a, a non-variable speed drive pump or a dump pump, and you actually want to get the most out of a pressure tank, or want to be able to control the, the pressure you operate at, you need a controller like this. What this one does is it allows you to set the point at which it turns on as the pressure drops and the point at which it turns off when, it, when the pressure picks up. So that gives you the ability to actually use the capacity in the tank. As, as you use water from the tank, the pressure it um, yields drops off and drops off. So in this case, we've got um, the tank set up that we want the controller at a, a, a switch on point of 1.4 bar. So for that, we say start. It's currently pressurized at 3.2 bar. If we press start, it says it's turning on at one bar. So we hold that in and then we can just set it up to 1.4 and stop is set to 3.4 bar. Let's and let's set that to three and a half bar just for a, a good point of reference. So you literally hold in the start or the, or the, the stop button's arrow that's next to it to get to, to actually setting it and just press enter to, um, for, to apply the setting. So a very straightforward um, user-friendly interface. Alrighty then, so now what we've got is we're sitting at, what, what are we at, about 3.3 bar on our um, pressure gauge there. And what we should be able to see now is we should get quite a bit of water draw without it actually um, triggering the pump. So if we just want to run a single shower, where well, that shower setting's gone off, there we go, that's more like it. And they were drawing 600 liters an hour. They were running two showers, drawing about a thousand liters an hour. And here we are drawing three showers and we're running everything off of the pressure tank. And then what happens is at the moment we're drawing no power as we're just drawing out of the pressure already built up in the pressure tank. And this saves you a lot as you're only actually um, using power while the pump is filling. And there we go. There it's switched on again. And then now you see the pressure is climbing slowly, but because we're running sort of at the upper edge of what this pump can do. But if we were to, to say only run two showers, then we see we're starting to get the pressure climbing. And at the moment, we're drawing about a thousand watt because the pump is running flat out trying to fill the tank and trying to provide pressure to the showers. If we then close another shower, then we see the pressure starts to climb a little bit quicker. And then what happens with this kind of behavior, with this kind of setup, is if we then close the last shower, then the pump still runs. But you'll see it'll only run up to its rated pressure as what it's doing now is it's running into the tank and just filling up that, um, that reservoir we have there. So on our pressure gauge, we're showing about 3.2 bar. On its pressure gauge, we're also showing 3.2 bar. And then let's say while there it stops. Okay, great. And we're nicely at the three and a half bar there. And then the big advantage you get with this is you own, the, the pump only runs at its maximum power while it's filling the tank. And then if it reaches its pressure target, it turns off. And then for a while, you're just drawing water out of the, the buffer tank instead of having to have the pump run constantly. It dramatically reduces the amount of times that the pump cycles on, off, on, off, on, off, extending the pump's lifespan. And the biggest advantage is um, that you get a massive reduction in power consumption, but you also um, get a smoother water delivery as you've, you're, if you open the shower, you don't need to wait for water to be there. It's just immediately there out of the pressurized buffer tank. So you haven't got the typical dip of flow and then pick up a flow which you normally have with um, these basic pumps.